DC neighbors are still dealing with the aftermath of this bridge collapse. Traffic is flowing on 295, but again, some people are still cut off from transportation, even groceries. That's something we cannot forget. The human tragedy even here. Jess Arnold followed up with the city to try to get some answers. We asked the Department of Transportation for a timeline on bridge reconstruction and if they'll give help to neighbors who rely on this bridge to get from this side to that side. All they'll say right now is we're working on it. I'm very shocked considering the impact that it has on multiple communities in the area. Nearby Advisory Neighborhood Commissioner Kelvin Brown says this bridge collapse is like a clamped artery for some neighbors. This pedestrian bridge is lifeblood through which they travel to doctor's appointments, travel to get groceries at the only grocery store in the area, Safeway. Or to get to and from the Deanwood Station. Renisha Barnes' family had to take a detour from there Wednesday. They're staying in the Kenilworth neighborhood for vacation. A 15 minutes walk with four kids and like three adults with suitcases. As an immediate solution, a DDOT spokesperson suggests using another bridge like this one off of Douglas Street Northeast to get across. Brown says there aren't enough sidewalks in the area to make that a safe option. I'm literally about to jump out my chair and probably out the window. Making sure our neighbors have access to safe, efficient transportation as a non-starter. Council members like Mary Che, who's head of the Transportation Committee, and Christina Henderson have also written to DDOT, pushing for an investigation and solutions. Henderson sent us a statement saying in part, our top priority must be ensuring residents that do not have the luxury of a vehicle or time to wait for a metro bus are able to safely cross 295. Che encouraging DDOT to enhance their inspections on other bridges, writing, Yesterday's events made clear the great harm caused by a bridge failure. It's essential we avoid a similar one. Brown says the issue is systemic, pointing out potholes and a rundown bus stop he's been trying to get DDOT to fix. For the longer term, I think that we need to really put together a policy plan that addresses all of the deferred maintenance on projects in our most hard hit areas and our most underserved communities. He hopes this collapse serves as a wake-up call. In Northeast D.C., Jess Arnold, WUSA 9.